Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the Akai MPC, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 5.1. And as you can see here, these are just the CV output cables. I got some, I don't know if it was like rainbow or whatever color, just so that I had one each so that I knew red, I just went in order basically. So red is for CV1 output on the MPC, orange is CV2, yellow is CV3, green CV4, blue CV5, etc. So that I can just make sure that as I'm outputting signals, I can quickly grab those cables and just know what I want to patch into. And the first thing I want to do is we're just going to set up an empty project here. Um, when I'm usually the one of the most important things in my mind to make sure that you sync up between the MPC and a modular system is just getting a clock signal out and getting a reset signal so that you know that whatever you're, if you have something that has a start, you're not having a sequence or other thing that is kicked off in the middle and you want it to reset so it starts at the beginning. So to do that, I'm just going to go over to, we'll just say track 17. I'm going to switch it over to a CV and I'm going to change CV port uh, to, um, Let's turn that off because we don't want to send CV particularly for this. We want to send gate. So I'm going to send CV1 here. It will be our gate. So as, as I said, is this red cable here. I'm just going to pan up. And what I'm going to do is for Pamela's new workout, I'm going to plug into the clock. You might not be able to see from the angle here right now, but it says v BPM of 76. That was just what I was doing to work with. And I'm going to pan back down. So to record this out, I think I, I forget if I did 16th or 32nd notes, but a quick way to kind of just get something out would be, I'm just going to record it, hold note, repeat, and I'm just going to send the signal out. And I'm going to turn it off, but I can now see wherever the notes are. We've got 16th notes. And if I pan back up, even though you can't probably see it very well, it's super tiny and the knob might be in the way. It is now seeing seeing that we're running at a BPM of 96. If I go back to the main, if I adjust the BPM speed, turn it up, it takes a little bit to catch up, but it's now detecting that we're running at BPM 125. I can go down to 77 and it just, it does take a little bit of taking that clock signal for it to readjust. But I found find Pamela's new workout is really good for this. Um, it's even really good at doing outputting CV information and being very consistent, but that gets us the BPM locked in at least. So if I come back down here, just go to 96, I'll stop my track. I'm going to rename this track 17 to, uh, CV, so I'll just, yeah, let's call it CV one and I'm just going to call it clock so that we know that this is what that is. I'm also going to even change this to CV clock just so that I know what this program is because we don't want to use the same program multiple times. The next thing I need to do is switch over. We're going to go to track 18 and we'll say CV two. I'm going to call this reset. Now, one thing that we have to keep in mind for reset, and I'm, before I do this, I'm going to create a CV program. We'll name this to reset. I could probably call it CV reset, whatever. Um, we want this to gate port to be two. Now, the thing that we want is just one note to trigger at the beginning of whatever our number of bars are. I've currently got two. I'd actually like to do a four bar sequence. Since we just recorded in the CV clock, I'm just going to come in and double that so that we're now at four bars and all I need to do is make sure we've got one note that is or one trigger and that will send a gate out to CV2 and what this also means is I now need to take this yellow or not yellow orange cable and I'm going to plug this into the run on the Pamela's new workout I have the I have configured in the past the Pamela's new workout run to accept that a CV trigger as a reset. 
and in the future maybe if anybody's interested i can show how to go do that i did some previous videos for it so it's, if you want just go take a quick look but that will get you uh, that information set up for for that so just for this session i think that's where i'm going to stop for today what we've got at this point is we've got a cv1 sending clock and we've got cv2 sending a reset and that's at least letting us from the mpc send over enough information for uh, getting the proper bpm and then getting that sometimes it takes a little while but it will get us an alignment between whatever we're running on the mpc for four bars and have that line up with whatever we're running in modular for four bars so anyway guys hope that helps keep making music keep having fun and peace